Hello everyone and welcome back to my citizenship has probably been delayed. So yay. It's been absolutely ages since- Oh, hold on. It's been absolutely ages since I've just had a sit and chat with you guys, so that's what we're doing today. Let's do a little life update, future of the channel, what the heck is going on with citizenship and all the other stuff. Let's go. So a lot has happened, obviously, in the last few months. I feel like I don't have to go into detail about what that was. We all can visibly see what's going on. I decided not to get a haircut for absolutely no reason. Just wanted to relive my youth. Want to look like this again. Yeah. What a look. I'll be there in a week or two. But that's neither here nor there. The thing is, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking if I'm okay during all this and how I'm doing. And first of all, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for asking. I'm doing all right. I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. The truth is, due to the current situation, everyone's AdSense is at 50% of what it usually is. And that's like across the board. So it doesn't matter if you're getting the same exact views, same amount, everything. 50% of the revenue you usually make, which can be incredibly scary, especially for creators that are employing other people, because how are they gonna be able to do that now without half of the money coming in? And also for smaller creators that have just recently tried to make the big step up to being a YouTuber full-time. It's really scary times for a lot of people. Basically, a lot more people than you wouldn't expect have been hit by this crisis. Luckily, for the most part, I have been fine during all this, which I'm incredibly grateful for, and that is thanks to a lot of different people. First off, you guys, thank you so much for supporting what I create, and that has enabled me to keep going, especially my channel members and my patron members who basically are the reason why I was able to invest in a new camera setup earlier and also more recently into a new lighting setup which uh, by the way what do you think do you like it do you light it do you yeah yeah I very much freaking love this I've been trying so hard over the last like couple months to make something nice and light and bam I hope I pop out I hope I'm colorful I'm working I'm doing my best but also another reason I've been able to stay afloat so well is thanks to my incredibly good management team and a lot of brands that have been reaching out now if you haven't noticed in the past six months or so I've been doing a bit more of brand integration videos in which I make a standard video as I normally would on a Sunday except with a one or two minute sketch in the middle of the video from a brand that I like I think it's just the way of YouTube at the moment because I've seen so many other youtubers do this exact same thing and the thing is thanks to this, I've been able to save up and invest even more into the content I make. If you've been subscribed to me for, I don't know, two days, you'd know I have a catchphrase sometimes at the end of videos like, new videos every Sunday. I haven't missed a video in like eight years. I haven't. I have not missed a video in eight years. But there's a catch. If it is just one video a week, right? It's only, it's only one video a week. But after a successful eight year run of never missing a Sunday upload, I thought, why not make more videos? Why just Sunday? Uh, and then I remembered I've got quite a big bottleneck. You see, the biggest bottleneck I have when it comes to creating content is the edit. And the thing is, editing is my favorite part of making videos. I love editing so much. It's fun, it's arty, it's technical. So many of the jokes that I make are crafted in the edit. I can do so much more in the edit. It is by far my favorite part of making videos and that is why I spend so much more time editing them. And I could reduce that bottleneck incredibly easily if I just stopped caring so much about the quality of certain edits. If you haven't noticed, I mostly do animations now. Like when a graphic comes up on screen, it comes up on screen, it spins away, it zooms away, stuff going on like that. As opposed to just having text on screen, I like to make it a bit more more dynamic, a bit more vibrant. But that comes at a cost, which is basically time. And that's when I came to the conclusion that if I ever hope to make more content for this channel, which I very much do want to make, I'm going to have to start paying an editor to at least help me free up some time by editing some videos so I can just make more videos. And it's one of those things that I have been really averse to for the longest time because I love editing so much and because I like being this one-man band. But the thing is, a one-man band can only go so far. So many of my favorite YouTubers have editors and have teams and employ other people, but for me it's been such a strange concept concept because I just like that idea of just doing it all myself. But if I ever want to make the big projects that I do want to make, gotta let other people in. It's weird. But what are the extra videos gonna be? So here's the plan. Every Sunday, I'll be having a standard video that I'm going to be making on whatever topic I really feel like it. If it's language learning or British versus American or any type of vlog, movie review, anything that I normally make. And then, on Thursdays will be more of a community driven video. Because the thing is, I hate how I can't have you guys more a part of my content. The thing is when you make a video, let's just say a British versus America video on school leavers, the one I made like last week, there were so many interesting comparisons in the comments and people that were like, oh, mine was more like this, but those only live in the comments. I, I wish it was more uh, indicative of what was happening in my video. And so I can have it that way because all of your comments now are going to be in a Thursday video. I like this idea so much because so much of the content I make is based on shared experience and the fact that I can have even more shared experience on Thursdays and have you guys actually being part of the content Heck yeah, that, that's what I wanna do. So Sundays, new video, and Thursdays, community video with your comments. That will be starting next week, so basically whatever your thoughts were on this video, boom, that's gonna be in Thursday's video. One of my housemates is a video editor, so I'm gonna be having him work on the Thursday videos, so that way I can film them, have him edit them, and then there we go, we have two videos per week. And that's just a start. The thing is, if you haven't heard me say this before, I've been working on a series. Yeah, I've been working on a series for ages now. It's a huge passion project. I absolutely love the idea. It's fully fleshed out. All I needed to do was start filming 
and I couldn't because the current situation happened, it involves a lot of people, and so it got pushed back. Bit upsetting. But thanks to this new schedule I'm working on, I think this will work incredibly well, especially because this new series involves a lot of shared experience and a lot of cool educational content, so I'm so excited. But that will be on a Sunday upload, I will work completely on those, and then on Thursdays, we have more community-driven videos based on those Sunday videos. I'm pumped. And honestly, I'm super thankful for everyone that has been here with me for so long. I've been making videos for freaking year, literally over a decade now. And I started off as just a guy in his dorm room making college vlogs about things he had opinions on. And then I did movie reviews. And then I talked about different things that happened to me as fun stories. And honestly, I like the idea that I still have this channel to make whatever I want. Obviously, some of you will watch other content that I make over some. That's okay. I can still make whatever I want and the ability for me to make more videos a week makes me feel like I can make more content that I want to make as well. Some people only watch me for my British versus American content. I think that's totally fine. Some people only watch me for my language learning content. I think that's fine. I'm just happy to make more videos that people can enjoy. In the past year or two, I've made so many videos that I'm honestly super proud of and I've tried to take the channel in a bit more of an edutainment direction if you haven't noticed. Like the videos that I made with Jay Foreman in June, the videos I make with Luke on tax and things, ones that are a lot more research, that have a lot more information in them, I find that so much more interesting. And a lot of you guys have totally noticed this. The quality of a British versus American video definitely depends on the pre-research and the guest that is involved in that. In my head, I split the British versus American series I've made into two distinct groups. One being more anecdotal stories, so things about school that just a fun little chat video that I have with friends where I talk about, whoa, I can't really believe that. And other ones like the healthcare, the taxes one, the television one, that stuff is a lot more information, a lot more factual. So I make two different sets of the same type of series based on who I can work with that week. Going forward, I'd much rather do those highly researched videos with really informative guests full of cool facts. Like that's the type of content I wanna make, but during lockdown, I'm trying to do the best with what I got here. And speaking of the old lockdown Arunsky, I was meant to be getting my British citizenship in June. That's next month. That's wild. My accent was real American there. One final hurrah. But I don't actually know what's gonna be happening now. What I assume happens is maybe the lockdown type of thing ends in June and then I can apply for the citizenship, but because everyone that has been affected by this over the last three months will probably be doing the same thing and the council probably has more important things to worry about, it's gonna be pushed back a bit. Hopefully, ideally, I can get this done in July or August and then I can actually get citizenship. And I know what you're thinking, Evan, are you gonna bring us with you? Absolutely freaking lootly. I'm gonna be doing a video at a private location for the event where I have to like get on one knee and be like, God save the queen. I actually don't know yet. I do know, I've read the book. I have to pledge allegiance. It's gonna be really cool. So I'm hoping to make a whole video out of that and 100% you guys are gonna be there with me. So I look forward to that. Obviously, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know I've been working at this for so long. I'm so excited. But yeah, it's probably gonna be pushed back. It's not the end of the world. The thing is, I am still able and eligible to apply for citizenship and uh, that's what matters. Now on a personal note, I do feel like a lot of us are at our wits end. I'm no exception. Like, I don't think anyone expected this whole thing to go on for so long. And even though, obviously I'm trying my best to keep mental health high by meditating, which by the way, I'm on day 54. I've got a streak, okay? I'm a big streak whore, love a good streak. App has a streak. Hey, how, how many days in a row have you meditated? Uh, 54, can't stop, won't stop. And yes, meditation has been incredibly nice for me, but still, no matter what you do, it's a rough situation we're all in. You'd be amazed at what things can cause massive amounts of anxiety, things that maybe shouldn't, because there's other things in the world that would cause you more stress. And I don't want you to laugh, but last week, I genuinely had such a big anxiety breakdown because of something stupid. I didn't like the color grade. I didn't like last week's video's color grade. It just, I, I just didn't like it. I know it sounds silly. It was just that there was something off with it and I knew there was something off with it and it was something that I couldn't fix. I didn't know why it was wrong, how it was wrong. And then I got one YouTube comment. Does anyone else think this video is really dark? That was it. That was it. It was dark. It was too dark. It was poorly exposed and I didn't know why and I didn't know how to fix it. I just felt broken. I felt like everyone was watching me fail and it was such a stressful couple days where I just felt powerless because I've been trying so hard to light my videos well, to edit my videos well. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I have been color grading recently. I've been shooting flat, which means when you basically remove all the color from the camera when you shoot, that way when you bring it back, it's a bit prettier, you have more control over it, and also you have more high dynamic range, so basically 
better highlights and shadows. Long story short, I changed my camera mode settings to expert mode basically. Why? Because I like learning. I like learning how to make things better and especially if it's something that I love so much like editing, I just want to know everything about it. But I don't know everything about it because it's so freaking difficult. And I know I could just as easily just change my camera settings to shoot standard like every other YouTuber mostly and it'd be fine and no one would notice. I'm really, that's really standard. It looks really great. Good job. But I just want to, to make it even better. I know that if I do it this way and I do it successfully, it is so much worth it. And hopefully this video specifically, hopefully you've noticed if I've done a good job, I don't know. The thing is, I had so many holes in my learning because no one ever taught me how to color grade videos. I just learned from random YouTube videos every once in a while, I'd be like, I'll watch that, does that help? And the thing was, my workflow was so wrong. So I would do things just kind of by playing whack-a-mole and be like, the video doesn't look good. <laughs> Does that look good? No. How about that one? Is that good? No. Yeah, and so I didn't really know what I was doing. Not sponsored this video, but I did use like a video sponsor from a couple weeks ago. I did a course on Skillshare, three hours long from like a BBC colorist. Changed my life. It fixed my workflow, hopefully, depending on this video. Don't, don't be mean. <laughs> it's silly, like I said, uh, but the thing is, I just so strongly want to make good things and I want to at least try my best. And if I'm trying my best, I hope it looks the best I can do, you know? So what's the point in making it so difficult for myself if it's not going to have such a high payoff? And that is what hopefully I'm going to get through. I guess most of my anxiety came from the fact that it felt like everyone was just watching me flounder. Like people would watch my video and be like, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. And it's true, I, I don't, but I'm learning. And that's something I'm trying to encourage. I want to learn to make better things, even if it's not easy. Cause it's the hard way. That's the right way. It's not even a good, that's like not the good song from the freaking music. But yeah, future of the channel, future of my mental health, hopefully better, depending. I threw a lot of information at you in this video. It was basically a big life update slash channel update. I didn't even go into detail about another series I'm hoping to work on involving visiting different towns in the UK. That's gonna be exciting. As long as everything here works and everything I talked about with this two video week plan works and my mental health works, a lot of stuff has to work basically, but uh, I'm hoping it does because I'm gonna put in a lot of time and effort to make it that way. Thank you so much for supporting me through all this and I hope through this whole situation, you're also doing okay. And whether you're learning something new or maybe you're just trying your best, I'm glad you're trying your best. You're doing fine. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.